we will continue our celebration of quota opportunities, marching band performances, and we will end the day with a presentation of Olympic Games, the football game against the Rapid City Seven Fathers, and the homecoming dance. It is also our tradition that we do best to share our good fortune with others during the week. As you probably even notice, the collection baskets have blossomed to coordinate. This year, the media dress tradition of giving is the non-profit business Fund Fun Club. The media dress student council selected this organization as they provide inclusive employment opportunities for students and adults with disabilities in the our community. So you will have the collection baskets available after the ceremony tonight and at the football game. Thank you for supporting this work for us. this worthy cause. Now, we'll have some entertainment from the BBHS drum line. The drum line is part of the BB Martin Links. The 180 members of the Martin Links are off to a terrific start to the competition with their 2024 show, of course, for my face. In their first week of competition in Roseville, Minnesota, they placed first in finals and in captain awards for best wings, percussion, and sound effects. You can see them in action this Friday at halftime of the home of the football game and at their home competition this Saturday at the Big Sioux Way.
year team has started the season competing in Mitchell, Yankton, and Huron so far. This year's team has amazing leadership with seven seniors, including Captains Alicia Pear and Abby Lee. The team is working hard to ensure a successful season. They continue to improve their skills, sharpen their motions, and add more difficulty into their routine. They are excited for the upcoming BB invite on September 24th. We hope to see you there. This next group can be seen literally running all over town in all types of weather. The 2024 BB Cross Country Team consists of 11 seniors, 9 juniors, 15 sophomores, and 18 freshmen. There are also 54 middle school runners, with 6 of them competing on varsity or junior varsity teams. The season began at the Old Orbit Invite on August 30th. The boys were first and the girls were second. The Audi Twilight Meet was September 6th, where the boys were sixth and the girls were third out of 35 teams. Our Lynx Invite was held on September 14th, and both boys and girls were first place. The teams have several weeks left in their season, all in preparation for the ESD Conference Meet in Huron on October 12th, the Metro Conference Meet at Canyon Trails in Sioux Falls on October 17th, and the Stick Meet at Park Ranch in Rabbit City on October 25th. Thank you to everyone who ran or walked in the Big Skin Road Race and for all the support you have given us the Cross Country Program. At this time, we would like to introduce the 2020 Red and Valley coming forward. We will also introduce the parents of each kid fit and ask the parents to stand while their child is being introduced. Another homecoming tradition is to have a Red and Valley employee escort each candidate on the stage. The candidates have selected these adults because they have played an influential part in their lives. Molly Alexander, daughter of Amy and Scott Jones and Devin and Whitney Alexander. Molly's activities and interests include soccer, playing pickleball, going to the lake, and going to walks. After high school, she plans to attend Stewart School for Aesthetics and Cosmetology. Molly is escorted by BBHS Education Assistant Teresa Dots. Molly shared, I chose Mrs. Dots because she inspires me and helped me a lot with my schoolwork and overall improved my experience greatly in the years that I had. As a teacher. Son of Travis and Susan Bussam. Shreven is a fellowship of Christians athletes leader and a participant in soccer, track, and church youth group. He also enjoys snowboarding, water skiing, boating, jet skiing, traveling, cooking, music, and going out to eat with friends. His future plans are to attend college at either Grand Canyon University or University of South Dakota to major in biomedical engineering or marketing. Trevin is escorted by BBHS engineer Jaren Isles. Trevin said, I chose Mr. Isles because he always makes class interesting and a fun environment to learn. I enjoy the clever facts he shares with the class, and I find it pretty cool how he has an answer no matter the question I ask. I also appreciate how Mr. Isles always asks me how soccer and track are going, and we have personal conversations about sports and life.
and he shares, Emma has been one of my basketball coaches and someone I've looked up to since the fifth grade. She's a big reason I fell in love with the game. Every practice, I look forward to knowing that she was going to be there smiling, asking how I'm doing. These past few years, she's been helping high school practices after the middle school season is done. I was walking to the gym, and as soon as I saw her, we would start talking about anything and everything. I know she's someone I can always go to for advice. Emma has been such a positive impact in my life in so many ways, and she was, and still is, the person I look up to.
Outside of school, she enjoys her part-time job at Cliff Avenue Greenhouse and is passionate about community service, making it a point to volunteer regularly, particularly at the Humane Society and the Butterfly House. After graduation, she plans to study law with the goal of becoming a trial attorney and the aspiration of ultimately becoming a judge. Libby is escorted by EPHS Spanish teacher, Bethany Waysman. Libby shared, I had Mrs. Waysman for Spanish my freshman and sophomore year, and she has made an incredibly positive impact on my life. Mrs. Waysman is one of the sweetest, silliest people I've ever met. Her smile and optimism are contagious. She's an inspiration to me, and I can only hope to be as wonderful as her one day. Mrs. Waysman has made school work for me. I could never thank her enough. She never fails to bring a smile to my face, especially when she brings up her obsession with Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Mrs. Waysman has put so much kindness into the world, and she deserves only the best. I appreciate her endlessly.
Uh, but I think we spent more time with kings and queens than English royalty. I don't know what's going on. It's like an episode of Bridgerton or something. I don't know. <laughs> I used to do, and I know my team is going to help me. And it's uh, where we used to smell the 
towers, and we go faster and faster and faster, but we're going to spell the link. So I need you all to stand up. Stand up. Stand up.
Brandon Valley Boys golf season off to, is off to a ter terrific start. The team has done a great job at each golf meet getting as much as they can out of each round. In recent weeks, the team has recorded some of its best scores they've had in years. The team recently placed as high as second in the Kenton Invite. The team is excited to represent our school at the conference and state meets in the next couple weeks. With every player having the ability to go low and help score for our team, we hope to have a strong finish at State in Watertown. Follow the team on Twitter or X at DBLinks Boys Golf or Instagram at DBLinks Boys Golf. Go Links! The Brandon Valley Girls tennis team is off to a respectable start to the 2024 season. Our dual record currently stands at 7 8. We just took an annual powerhouse, Sioux Falls Lincoln, and were able to win two powerhouse matches and competed well in the other matches. We are preparing for the ESD and state competitions in the next few weeks and hope to finish our season playing our best tennis. Thank you to our seven amazing seniors, Greg and Morrell, McKenna Beck, Emma Risky, Sasha Van Velt Hughes, Lydia Peterson, Hannah Myron, and Tasha Bofini for all your leadership this year. Go Lakes!
Thank you.